Hey guys, it's Alicia here. Welcome back to my channel. One of the first things I do every day after getting up and pouring myself some coffee is I pull out my goal setting journal. I know you have heard me talk about this practice before, but today I wanted to break it down a little bit further on how I do this practice. First thing I do is I open up a blank page and I make 10 bullets. Then I begin to write down my top 10 goals. I write down the same goals every day as if I have already achieved them. For example, when I was in college, I wrote down, I am a college graduate. Then, on the day I actually did graduate, I crossed it off, celebrated the win, and I replaced it with another goal. After I write down each of my 10 goals, I then move on to my to-do list. I ask myself, what is one thing I can do today to get myself closer to my goals? By accomplishing that one thing, I know I am taking steps towards achieving my dreams and aspirations. So hey, I am here. As I said in one of my previous videos, my reason for keeping a goal setting journal is because it reminds me of where I am headed. And for me personally, it does not matter how long it takes me to accomplish or achieve one of my goals. To me, it's just important that I'm working towards them. Since we are here, I thought it would also be fun to share with you two other lists that have made a really big impact in my life. Here they are. My second list is a gratitude list. While I don't do this list daily, I often make a list of the things I am thankful for. Many times I will write this out by jotting down things I am thankful for, the accomplishments I'm grateful for, and the people I am thankful for. When looking at the long list of people who I just feel so blessed to have in my life, I also like to sit down and make them cards to send them at different points throughout the year. So here you will also see that I'm writing down dates, which resembles birthdays, graduation dates, or other important dates that I want to remember. Another list I like to make is a habits list. I believe we all have habits that are good, some that are bad, and some that could use some improvement. I make this list by writing down the one habit that I would like to work on. For you, this could be bringing something healthy into your life, or this could be taking something bad out of your life. For me personally, I am already a fairly healthy eater, so instead of removing junk food from my life, I would instead like to bring something good into it. Currently, I am trying to increase my water intake, so that is what I am writing down here. I am then going to write down, it is important to me because. I truly believe when you have a reason or a why for wanting to achieve a goal, it becomes much harder to give up on. Then I'm going to move on to accountability. Do you have someone in your life who will hold you accountable when it comes to breaking a bad habit? Or do you have someone who is willing to join you? If so, get them involved. Next, when I want to give up, I will tell myself, in this section here, write a positive, motivated note to yourself, something you can read when you feel as if you want to throw in the towel early. Finally, a reward. Choose a date in which you get to receive a reward. Also, what will that reward be? When it comes to habits, they are hard to break. So if you fall short of one of your goals, don't be too hard on yourself for doing so. Instead, just pick yourself back up and keep going. If you have an interest in using the habit tracker that I personally use in this video, you can find it in the description below. Also, if you would like to learn more about journaling about your goals, make sure you stay tuned to the next video because I'm going to be doing an interactive journal with me type video. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. I am so grateful for each of you. I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments and then again in my next video. Peace out.